Hello everyone. I am about to feed my indoor worm bin. Right now just doing the usual getting the whatever worms are on the top of the lid, getting those off. The rest will kind of climb right back in. And this is again on the second level of my vermi hut. And in fact, this will probably be the last feeding for my second level. And I think, I may have said it before, but I think this time I'm going to make this the last feeding and then I'll put a third tray on. So you might be able to see here that the newspaper is starting to get a lot of holes in it. Um, and this was a new one because last time they had eaten all the newspaper on top. So it's looking like this newspaper will probably end up being, have its last, last, in fact, yeah, it just fell apart. This will be probably be the last time for this. In fact, I may just bury it underneath. And you can see some of the um, uh, cardboard, shredded cardboard from Amazon boxes that I uh, have in here. I mixed this up just to kind of aerate it and see how the feeding was doing um, a couple days ago. And I've got some pockets of mites right here that you may or may not be able to see. Um, must be on some food that they like or something, but, but anyway, let's go ahead and look around and see what we got. So I'm definitely seeing some worms, a little, little bit of worm ball action going. And again, I had kind of mixed everything up. I pretty put a pretty good feeding in here last time. Um, let me just adjust my light. Had a pretty good feeding in here last time. Um, and had, um, I think, a lot of broccoli that was being digested. This time I have a little bit less of that stuff and more um, apples and that kind of thing that we're going to feed them. But I'm really liking the moisture level in here. I'm liking what I'm seeing. The worms seem to be pretty active and, and all over. As you can probably tell right there. And just looking like an overall good worm bin. Again, I was amazed last time at seeing how much of, um, you know, the paper. I went back and looked at all the videos starting from when this bin, the second level was created and uh, just how much um, cardboard was in it to begin with. And then now to see how much is left. And a lot of this that you see that looks well formed is from the last feeding I put a lot down. And I'm going to put a lot down this feeding too because I want to make sure um, that I get some good bulk in here because I am going to put on the other lid or the other level. Here is the apple and you can see some worms crawling in and out of that. But yeah, this is definitely doing well. The, the moisture level feels great. It's not too soggy. I do, after probably about three or four days, I'll take the lid off. Oh, <laughs> I just ejected a worm ball from some bananas. Banana peel, they were all up, all up in the banana peel. I think that's right, we, we put some bananas in here. Um, so they've definitely enjoyed that. The apple again. So yeah, just kind of looking around. The, these peels, like I said, they they eat the interior of them, the little fleshy part, and then the peel itself seems to take a couple feedings before they're able to totally um, get rid of it. But we're just teeming with worms here, which is fantastic. So let me, one little section I haven't got to where this paper was and stuff, and I just want to 
dig into there a little bit, air it out. It's doing real well here. I keep running into this. This is a, a two prong um, banana uh, stem. It just hasn't quite gotten moist enough for them to to eat it up. Yeah, this will be a good good last feeding for these guys. And then when I make the new bin, they will hopefully migrate up. Just gonna make a hole in here. I'll put this um just kind of rip up this paper. Not that I need to because it is it is really um, easy to tear. It's not even like paper. It's like, you know, whatever, whatever looks like paper, but it's less than paper. That's what this is, like tissue almost. Just easy to rip. I'll put this at the bottom and then I'm gonna put more of the, um, more of the uh, cardboard box shreddings that I, that I keep always ready for more bedding. And it's better to better to have bed, uh, bedding ready to go in case you ever need it. You need to make your bin demoisturized quickly. Bedding's really good for that. Extra bedding on the on the standby. And this is just literally cardboard boxes that are put into my shredder and I was surprised at how well, how easy they shred. And now we're gonna go with some vegetables and carrot tops. We got here from my garden, some strawberries, apples, grapes that I'll squeeze to make sure that they can get through the skins. Sure I don't actually I should probably switch hands here <laughs> use the glove hand but yeah make sure I squeeze the the grapes so they can just have an easy way to get in they'd eventually figure it out but I'd rather squeeze it for them some more apple pieces and then um, these are just some potato chunks just all kinds of freezer freezer stuff that was kind of going bad. Just collect it all, put it in the freezer. That helps to kind of make mush out of the vegetable scraps and fruit scraps. And then they are ready to go. Now, last time in both my outdoor indoor um, bins, I had used up almost all the scraps that we had. So that's why you're not seeing too many of the um, green leafy stuff, like the broccoli that we juice and kale. So we've got more um, more fruit, which some people say attracts more of the mites and those kinds of things. But we will see how we do here. But there were some potatoes mixed in there. So this is one healthy feeding, that is for sure. And we'll put on some coffee. Get this going in there. And we'll do our normal eggshells. Grit. bury it and we'll be good to go. So this, like I said, is the ninth feeding of this level and hopefully the last. I think this will give us some good bulk. Hopefully I put enough bedding, cardboard, paper down. And um, then after that we will we will be putting on the last level of this, not the last level, but the third level of the Vermi Hut. I guess my goal is to get four up here and then once a month I'm harvesting castings 
while they go for about three months at a time or four months at a time. Um, so if you like what you saw and uh, want to see more, go ahead and hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. And if you want to, you can hit subscribe so you can be notified when I put out more videos, which every time I feed, I put out some more videos. So yeah, thanks for watching my channel. Thanks for keeping up with my worms and any comments or tips or tricks you have, please leave me in the comments uh, section so that I can learn from them and everybody else can learn from them. Um, I am just literally learning by doing, doing a lot of research, reading, reading um, books and um, different papers and studies and learning from commercial wormeries and, and home wormeries. So I learn from everything. But I appreciate it, and I uh, hope you all have a great day. Take care.